In this video, we'll be taking a look at three WNBA games happening on July 12, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three WNBA games games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Colorado Rockies vs. New York Mets The Colorado Rockies are set to travel to Seedy Field in Queens, New York, where they will face off against the New York Mets. Currently, the Rockies hold the fifth spot in the National League West with a disappointing record of 33-61. In contrast, the Mets have a more favorable standing, sitting third in the National League East with a record of 47-45. Historically, the Mets have struggled against the Rockies, going 2-4 in their matchups during the 2023 season. The Rockies' journey to New York follows a heavy loss to the Cincinnati Reds, where they fell 1-8 in the final game. This marked their fourth defeat in their last five outings, culminating in a 1-3 series loss to the Reds. Their recent performance has been lackluster, highlighting ongoing challenges for the team. On the other hand, the New York Mets are riding high on a wave of victories, most recently clinching a 7-0 win against the Washington Nationals. This victory represents their third consecutive win, allowing them to sweep the series against the Nationals. Over their last six games, the Mets have secured five wins, showcasing their strong form. When playing at home, the Mets have a solid track record against the Rockies, boasting a 7-3 record in their last 10 encounters. Additionally, as favorites, they have covered the run line in six of their last 10 home games. In stark contrast, the Rockies have struggled on the road, going 2-8 against the run line in their last 10 away games. They enter this series after conceding a significant number of runs to the Reds and have a poor 13-34 road record this season. Season. With one of the worst pitching staffs in MLB, the Rockies' reliability is questionable at best. While the Mets hold a 24-25 home record this season, their recent performance has been promising, winning five of their last six games and showing marked improvement over the past two months. The Mets will start with Mania, who has been exceptional in his last three starts, while the Rockies will rely on Gordon who struggled significantly in his debut against the Royals. Given these circumstances, it's difficult to support the Rockies on the road, and the Mets are likely to score heavily in this game. The teams are clearly on different trajectories, making the New York Mets to win and cover the spread as favorites are full-game side pick. Both teams feature the two worst bullpens in terms of staff earned run average for the month of July thus far. The Mets' high earned run average can be attributed to a few poor performances, but it remains a concern compared to their sharper form during their hot streak a few weeks ago. Conversely, the Rockies are arguably suffering from the worst bullpen in baseball. The Mets' offense has been performing well this season, and they are expected to deliver a strong offensive showing today. Facing a rookie pitcher who has only one major league game under his belt, and considering Sean Mania's career earned run average of 5.28 against the Rockies. This matchup is primed for a high-scoring affair. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Texas Rangers vs. Houston Astros The Texas Rangers and Houston Astros are set to begin a crucial three-game series that will mark the end of the first half of the season, just before the All-Star break. Both the Astros and Rangers are currently trailing the Mariners in the American League West Division. The three teams are once again competing intensely for the division title, much like they did last season when the race went down to the final weekend. The Texas Rangers find themselves in a unique position as they approach the All-Star break. They are currently six games behind the first-place Seattle Mariners in the division standings and are also playing below .500 as they enter this series. Depending on how the next few weeks unfold, the Rangers could either become buyers or sellers at the trade deadline later this month. Coming into this series, the Rangers just completed a three-game set against the Angels in Anaheim. They won the first two games of the series but lost the finale on Wednesday night with a 7-2 defeat. In that game, starter Michael Lorenzen gave up five runs on five hits over five innings. The Houston Astros are once again in pursuit of another American League West Division title. Dominating the American League for most of the past decade, the Astros had a slow start to the season and seemed at risk of missing the playoffs. However, the team has been getting healthier and 
is now relying on key veterans like Alex Bregman, Jose Altu, and Jordan Alvarez to lead their charge up the standings. Before facing the Rangers, the Astros hosted the Miami Marlins in an interleague series. They won the opening game 4-3 on Tuesday night and followed it up with a 6-3 victory in the series finale, scoring six runs on just five hits. Despite allowing 11 hits, six Astros pitchers managed to limit the Marlins to just three runs while striking out 13 batters. As the Astros continue this homestand to close out the first half of the season, they have an opportunity to create some distance between themselves and the Rangers with a strong performance this weekend. Hunter Brown is set to start the series on the mound for the Astros, despite a rough outing in his last start. Prior to that, Brown had been stiller in his previous four starts, allowing only one run in total and striking out 27 batters. The Rangers will counter with Andrew Heaney, who has struggled this season with a 3-9 record in 18 starts. Heaney has also lost two of his last three road games. The Astros hold a slight edge in the season series against the Rangers, with a 4-3 record including wins in four of the last five meetings. Both starting pitchers have been performing well in their last seven games, but Houston holds a slight advantage. Andrew Heaney Heaney has a 2-3 record with a 2.95 earned run average and a 1.08 WHIP over 39.2 innings, while Hunter Brown boasts a 5-1 record with a 2.3 earned run average and a 1.09 WHIP over 43 innings during the same span. Additionally, the Astros have a stronger bullpen, ranking 13th in the majors with a 3.79 reliever earned run average compared to the Rangers' 23rd rank with a 4.38 bullpen earned run average. Therefore, the Houston Astros' money line is our full game side pick. Even in his recent road losses, Heaney has managed to keep the Rangers competitive. In his last five starts, the Rangers have gone under the total in four of those games. On the other hand, Brown had allowed just one run over his previous four starts before giving up seven in his most recent outing. Both teams are also missing key offensive players, including Evan Carter and Josh Young for the Rangers and Kyler Tucker for the Astros. I believe this will be a low-scoring duel given the stakes and the rivalry between these two teams. A sweep in this series could bring the Rangers close behind the Astros or propel Houston into the Al West lead, depending on the Mariners' performance. Although Brown struggled in his last start, he has been solid over the past month and tends to pitch better at home. Despite Heaney's poor overall record, he has actually pitched well in recent months. Typically known for their offensive prowess against each other, these two teams are likely to engage in a rare pitcher's duel on Friday night. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Seattle Mariners vs. Los Angeles Angels The Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels are set to face off in the second game of their four-game weekend series, just before the All-Star break. As the Mariners wrap up the first half of the season, they find themselves in first place in the American League West, while the Angels are fighting to stay out of the division's basement. Mariners pitcher Wu has been outstanding whenever he's taken the mound this season. With the benefit of some extra rest, he should be well prepared to manage the Angels' offense, which has struggled through the latter part of June and into July. The Mariners have been excellent at drawing walks, ranking in the top 10 in this category, while Anderson, the Angels pitcher, has had trouble with walks all season. The Mariners' dominance over the Angels feels like just another setback for the Halos, who appear to be faltering as the season progresses. Despite Anderson's impressive performance in his last outing, his overall earned run average suggests that such success is unsustainable. The Mariners, currently the stronger team with more to play for, are likely to secure another win. Wu, though he's had some injury issues, has been reliable, and this game seems like an ideal opportunity for him to reinforce his position with the Mariners. Expect Seattle to continue their strong offensive performance and capitalize on any mistakes from the Angels. Therefore, the Seattle Mariners' money line is our full game side pick. Angel starter Anderson boasts a 2.81 earned run average, and both pitchers have a commendable WHIP of 1.18 this year. These figures are likely to improve against a Seattle team that ranks last in the majors in batting average and 27th in runs scored. The Angels, 24th in the league for runs per game, will find it challenging to score against Mariners starter Wu. Despite a brief offensive surge, the Angels have struggled as July progresses, setting the stage for their weakest month of the season. Wu has excelled on the mound, issuing few walks and allowing minimal home runs. While Seattle has struggled with consistency at the plate, leading the league in strikeouts, their impatience could be costly. With both teams struggling to hit for extra bases, many runners might be left stranded, closing out innings without scoring. This game is expected to be low scoring, likely hinging on the effectiveness of the bullpens in the late innings. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.